The history of New York. So Yo Kylo, you might find this interesting. In the 17th century, the Dutch had a trading post here in New York, and it was awesome. What happened to the trading post? So the British had taken over the Dutch trading post in the Second Anglo-Dutch War. So I guess it wasn't only the U.S. who had a problem with the British at the time. Yeah, I know, I suck at jokes. And then a lot of different declarations were signed, all types of cool stuff happened in New York. Uh, some guy made a shirt that said, I love New York, which became... Uh, ridiculously popular. I mean, all these... The history of New York is way too long to explain in five minutes. And there are things about New York that almost everybody knows. I mean, no one can talk about New York without talking about that great, great thing given to us by the French. Of course, I'm talking about Lady Liberty. Lady Liberty is a huge statue that's almost hollow, and people can walk through the statue and into the torture, into the hat of Lady Liberty and look out and get a view of the New York City skyline, which is pretty awesome. So Lady Liberty was given to the United States by the French in 1886. I wonder why these sorts of gifts are given nowadays. I'm pretty sure it will help mull over all the craziness between countries if we just were nicer to each other. But aside from that, Lady Liberty was extremely significant because it was close to Ellis Island. Ellis Island was one of the major places that immigrants from other countries, especially European countries, came through. People would come through and go through Ellis Island to be immigrated into the United States, and one of the first things they would see is Lady Liberty, the statue. Now, in recent history, I have tried to go to the Statue of Liberty to walk all the way up to the hat and to the torch, and unfortunately, I wasn't able to. I don't know if any of you know this, but New York has been the site of a few terrorist attacks. Now when I say a few, what I mean is that not all of the attacks were necessarily successful. Uh, the major attack was September 11, 2001, in which the Statue of Liberty and Liberty Island itself was completely closed off to everyone until December of 2001. That's when they reopened Liberty Island, but they did not reopen the Statue of Liberty. Most of the Statue of Liberty wasn't reopened until the summer of 2009, and even now, uh, some places still seem to be closed off. Now, in case you don't know what the hell I'm talking about when I say terrorist attack, I mean someone flew two planes into our Twin Towers, and for some reason the Twin Towers fell down, and the Twin Towers fell down, and two of the buildings of the Twin Towers fell down by plane attacks, and there was a third building that fell down as well. For no other reason than there was a fire in that building. Anyway, that wasn't the only terrorist attack in New York City. Recently, an idiot decided to put a bomb in a car and not arm it correctly so that it would go off. So, it was a failed terrorist attempt, but it was a terrorist attempt nonetheless. I don't know about you, but I really don't like to live in a place with all these terrorist attempts going on every other day. Like, you never know if you're going to Manhattan, if you're going to see a site, or if they're going to close off Times Square because some idiot decided to put a bomb in the car. But New York City has a great, great, great history that doesn't have to be so negative. If we just take our eyes off of all that negative stuff, we can see great, great things. The history of Broadway plays has all happened here in New York City. One of my favorite Broadway plays was Cats. Cats was canceled a while ago in my lifetime, but it was very, very cool. Another popular Broadway play includes Avenue Q. We could talk about Chinatown and how all the Chinese immigrated there and built buildings that looked like their Chinese homeland. We could talk about Little Italy, which is where you can get the best food in Manhattan. I hope you enjoyed this very scattered history of New York, and I hope I uh, dropped some knowledge on those of you who didn't know a few things. You're waiting for me to explain the hat, aren't you?